television love outgoing GMA as their relationship reaches a significant turning point. Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are pitching a reality show. Since being fired from their positions as co-hosts on the program, Amy Robach and TJ Holmes have pursued other careers. While exploring for their next major project, the duo is reportedly in discussions about producing a reality show, among other ideas. After officially leaving GMA3 in January, a source confirmed Amy and TJ's plans to US Weekly on Thursday. The insider said of the couple, they're pitching themselves as a duo. They've pitched a reality show, a docuseries, and a daytime discussion show, all of which they are confident will be well-liked and receive significant viewership. Whatever they decide, Amy has stated that they are all in this together since this is about true love. Amy, 50, and TJ, 45, weren't having much success last month convincing other networks to adopt their ideas. In light of the former co-host's adultery scandal, networks are reportedly steering clear of the media celebrities, according to the New York Post. According to a source close to Amy and TJ, CBS syndicate division, CBS Media Ventures, rejected the controversial couple's proposal for a talk program. When the pair contacted the network on, CNN also rejected a pitch from their talent agency, CAA. Another attempt was made by Amy and TJ, who met with station executives to propose having their own syndicated show from Fox Entertainment and Fox Television stations. The conversations between the two and Fox were general meetings, according to a source, on various opportunities that weren't limited to simply a talk show. Despite the fact that Amy and TJ make an effort to respond to their viewers on air, a TV critic recently criticized the idea of the duo hosting their own talk show. What topics would they cover if they hosted a talk show? What area of knowledge do they have? Infidelity. The unidentified expert asked the New York Post. They'd accept anything. They might now host a game show, in my opinion. Amy and TJ continue to present their idea to those who might be able to help turn it become a reality despite several networks turning them down. The two approached the networks and the producers of The Ellen DeGeneres Show, pitching a show a la Kelly Ripa and Mark Consulos, according to Page Six. The specifics of Amy and TJ's program concept are still vague and flexible, according to insiders. TJ and Amy reportedly promised executives they could be whatever you want us to be, a source told the New York Post. The insider told the publication, one thing's for sure dot 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 they can't do news. In November, after the Daily Mail received pictures of Amy and TJ looking affectionate at a New York City club, their relationship came to light. Additionally, they were seen hanging out at each other's Manhattan apartments. The couple left on November 11th for a weekend break at a cottage in upstate New York. TJ and Amy had been wed to their respective wives, Marilee Feebig and Andrew Hsu, since 2010, but a source told the outlet they were divorcing one another at the time. The network suspended them from their positions on GMA3 when their romance became a contentious media topic. Later, Amy and TJ's departure from the show was announced by ABC. They said, we all concluded it's best for everyone that they move on from ABC News after several fruitful meetings with Amy Robach and TJ Holmes about other options. The couple's romance has not, however, slowed down as seen by the several PDA heavy outings they have gone on since the decision. A passionate kiss was seen being shared by the two last month while they were out shopping in New York City. Days ago, TJ and Amy participated in the NYC half marathon they had been preparing for together.